Hi, it's Janie. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be um, some of my favorite products that I thought I would share with you today. Anyway, um, I don't have a whole lot. Um, I decided on my favorites that I was just going to keep them to like a handful of products to share with you. And um, that way the video is not too long, you don't get bored, and you can um, actually get a little information on the product instead of me just showing you what I like. So anyway, I'm going to start with a couple of perfumes or fragrances that um, I've been enjoying for actually quite some time now because, I say that because one of them is empty. I just finished it up and the other one is almost empty. It's going to be done probably by the end of this month. So anyway, the first thing I'm going to talk about is from Joe Malone. And if you would have watched my favorites from last week, I talked about a Joe Malone product. That was the Red Roses um, bath oil that I'm really enjoying. And I had purchased that to go along with the perfume that I bought also from Joe Malone, which is the Red Roses perfume. Um, our Red Roses Cologne, I guess is what it's called by Joe Malone. It only comes in this size, which is just a one ounce. It is a a pricey um, cologne because it's a, for one ounce is $65. Um, they don't offer a bigger size, unfortunately. Of course, I think I would buy a bigger size of it. Anyway, it does have seven types of roses, and it is a very true rose scent. It's not an artificial rose or a waxy rose, as I like to refer to it, but it's just a very nice rose scent. Doesn't smell like an old lady. I don't know why people think that if you wear a rose perfume or if you like a rose perfume, it refers to as an old lady. Um, maybe because of the roses perfumes in the past maybe smelt borderline powdery possibly, but this does not smell powdery. Um, it truly smells like a bouquet of roses. It smells like your man or your partner brought you a dozen roses into your home and your whole home just smells like roses and this is what this smells like I love it I will definitely um, purchase it again oh, even the bottle it just smells so good but anyway I liked wearing this pairing it with this other product that I'm going to show you and this is from Giorgio Armani and it's the C um, C Rose Signature so it is the one that comes with the um, the ribbon around it the peach or pinky yeah I guess it's kind of a peachy colored ribbon the perfume itself is kind of a peachy color um, it almost looks like it might be have gone off a little bit you know how some kinds of perfumes when they're old they change their um, their color this is the way this comes oh my gosh this is just like the um, the normal C from Giorgio Armani, with the exception that they have added a couple of rose accord notes into there, two different ones. And so it's a little bit lighter than the original C, which is why I'm really drawn to this. Also, I'm drawn to it because it smells like rose. It also has a little bit of a grapefruit scent to me, um, which kind of reminds me of my Clinique Happy. So it's more like a um, like a fruity rose, if that is even possible. But these two right here paired together, I spray this first all over, and then I just put a couple of spritz of this on top. Oh my gosh! Every time I would wear these two combined together, I would get compliments. Nine times out of ten, they were from men. So. If you think you smell like an old lady roses, I'm telling you the men like it. So anyway, um, this does run around $92 um, for the smallest size. And I don't know what size this is. What size is this? I can't see it. I can't see it. Anyway, it starts around $92 and I think it goes up a little bit on price. I mean, it is a little bit more of a pricier perfume because of the Giorgio Armani name but oh my gosh it smells so good so good love it and we'll definitely repurchase it when it is gone this one is already gone I finished it up yesterday well no I might get a couple more spritz out of it oh it smells so good so those are the two perfumes that I've been just wearing on a daily basis and not to use them up because I really like the way that they smell
Okay, the next product, two products I'm gonna talk about are products that I have put into my project pan um, because they've been in my collection for a while. I've pulled them back out and I'm finding as I'm going through and um, kind of rediscovering my collection and some of my favorites. Um, because as you know, I'm on a no buy, no buy slash low buy, and by not bringing in new products, I'm actually starting to pull out products that I've had for a while and I'm starting to use them and enjoy them and find out that I really do like them. So the first product that I'm gonna talk about is this right here from It Cosmetics, and it's the Build a Brow, Build a Brow, not Build a Bear, but Build a Brow, um, in the Universal Taupe. This does run around $24. Um, you can get it at Ulta um, off the um, It Cosmetics website, and I'm sure there's probably other places that you can purchase it, but anyway, um, one of my goals for my project pan was to hit pan on this, and as you can see, I have definitely hit pan on it. Um, I had purchased it, used it for a little bit, and then decided I didn't like it, put it in my drawer, um, but then I pulled it back out because I'm gonna use it up, and as I've used it and have worked with it, I am discovering that I really do like it. I like the formula, definitely. Um, if I was to repurchase it again though, I think I would get the lighter color, um, maybe the blonde, because I just feel like it's a just a tad bit too dark for my eyebrows, um, but anyway. So let me tell you a little, about, a little bit about the product. It does, there are only five different shades that it comes in, but one of the shades that if you are gray headed, they do have a gray shade that you might want to check out. So I think that's real important. Um, it is a waterproof gel type formula. Um, it does stain the um, brow hairs. You can also, um, it has some, um, oh, they called it melted fibers that's in here. So it's not actual fibers, but it is infused with fiber. So you can actually make your eyebrows look thicker and more full than what they really are with that technology. Um, it has a built-in primer. It's waterproof. It stays on. It's not going anywhere. It doesn't smudge. The only thing that I find with it is it is a little bit hard to work with for the fact that it is waterproof and I think it starts to kind of set a little bit quicker than what I would want because I don't have it quite situated in the spot that I want it before it kind of starts to set. But other than that, I really like it. Um, like I said, when this is gone, I probably will go with a little bit lighter color, the blonde probably. And the brush that I like to use that with is this one here from Anastasia. Beverly Hills and it is her eyebrow brush that you can buy um, on its own and I just think that the tip of this the way that this is made just really works very well with that product from It Cosmetics. Now It Cosmetics does sell and carry and um, recommend their own brow brush and it is a little bit of a different type brush. I do have that but I just like this one better as far as working with that product. So those two work really well together. And then the next product that was in my project pan or is in my project pan that I'm finding that I really do like and I pair it with this and, one moment. Sorry about that. My husband's taking a bath and our alarm signaled that someone had came in the door. So I ran up, get up to see who was here but it was actually he had opened the window in the bathroom. So anyway, scared me, I thought we had an intruder. Anyway, um, what I wanna talk about is this product here from um, Benefit, and the packaging, this is the old packaging, they have since changed it, but it's called a browsing, and I have it in the color light. Um, it has a powder product and then a wax type product or a setting pomade type thing. I don't use this, I don't care for it, it's all dried out because I've since lost the lid to it many moons ago it broke. But anyway, I have discovered that I really like this powder. Just use just a little bit to kind of just really make sure that everything is filled in and set on top of this. And I think the combination of them make a really good eyebrow. 
Um, I do feel like it is the two of them together, the light and the universal brow is a little bit too dark for me. So when this is gone, I would um, get a lighter color if they have it. I don't know if they do or not, but anyway. And the brush that I like to use for it with this is this one from MAC Cosmetics. Gosh, I've had this for years. This was in a, a Christmas kit of brushes years and years ago this is probably and this is one of my first mac purchases and i got it for christmas anyway um i can't even tell you what the brush number of it is because it's worn off but anyway it is the eyebrow brush and i have used this brush for years always use this brush with powder eyebrow products i just like the way that it picks it up the way it just dis uh, disperses it onto the brow and spreads it out I just like it a lot and um, I had already hit pan on this product when I started it on my project pan but I have since um, made another indention of it right here that product right there is gone now where it was there so making progress on that but in pulling that out and using it every day I'm finding that I really do enjoy those two products together Okay, um, the next product that I want to talk about, and this would be my, my last product, and this is a skincare product, and it's from the brand Derma E. I did get this from Ulta. This runs around $20, but um, you can get discounts on it and use discounts, I think. I don't think this is considered the prestige line, so I think you can use your 20% off coupons that Ulta sends out a lot of times where it's only on the drugstore side of the, the house. But anyway, it's the Dermin E. It's the overnight peel with alpha hydroxy acids. And it's an exfoliant and it is something that you put on overnight and just leave it on your skin. You don't rinse it off. Um, you put it on. It is a cream type product. Looks like that there. It's just a cream. And what I like to do is I cleanse, of course, I take everything off my face, makeup wise, then I cleanse, and then I do my toner, and then I do an essence, and I do do a um, serum, and then my eye cream, and I will also do a moisturizer. And then once all of that has kind of settled and set and dried, right before I go to bed, then I'll put some of this on. But anyway, it is just a resurfacing treatment it uses AHAs it has a 5% blend of glycolic acid and fruit acids which is really good for really getting in there and breaking up that dead skin on your face and just kind of help to slough it to where when you wake up the next morning when you cleanse your face and you can just wash all of that dead icky skin that has been exfoliated while you've been sleeping and you have just brighter clearer fresher looking skin and I use this probably about three times a week at night so just helps with um, an even t um, uneven pigmentation texture on your skin and like I said it's just a really good chemical exfoliant so and it doesn't seem to um, burn or sting um, like sometimes you can get some of those glycolic acids that kind of have a little bit of a bite to them I did not find that this is the case with this now if you skipped your serum and your moisturizer and just put it onto freshly cleansed toned skin you possibly could experience a little bit of a tingle possibly or if your skin is sensitive anyway that is it for some of my favorite products that i've been using this past week and i hope that you enjoyed um, make sure that you do give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel also if you want to be notified of future videos there's a little bell down by the um, description box just click on that that way when I upload new videos then you will get notified of those and won't miss those anyway again thank you so much I hope you enjoyed and talk to you soon bye